Hey, what's up, guys? Trust me, in here. And you know, some of you, you know, this is just an educational video, in my opinion, on about this stuff. But the main reason I'm making this video is because, you know, I, I did. I, I will be honest with you guys. I have pirated in my life I have not recently pirated in maybe the last three years I have not done it but before that before my parents wanted to buy me video games and everything and even if they when they didn't you know I'd go on the internet and try and find figure out how to get it for free especially the newest and latest titles now by doing that you know there's some risk of getting caught and then you're in big trouble but I, I want to give you some tips because I really looked into it on how to not get caught I did get caught. I did get caught for uh, a few things out here, here and there, uh, but this was a couple years ago. But anyway, so basically, what I did was uh, I looked that up, and it, it is true what they do say. I can pretty much guarantee that the ways you avoid this are pretty much correct because I did do the things they did. They said not to do, and I got caught by my provider, which is Comcast, and I have six strikes. That's the max they will give you. I am at three right now. That's not good. So I was like, I'm done. No more pirating for me. I'm out. So basically, if you want to, if you don't want to get caught, is I'll just give you. I I know this is probably the most hurtful thing to say, and I know it hurts, but it's true. You got you can the way you get caught the fastest way is by seeding. That that's right. If you're you know you you download it and you just let it seed for like weeks upon weeks you will get caught. It, it there's a huge chance you will. I'm not saying you will. You're guaranteed, but there's a huge chance you'll get caught. And I know, I know you have to return the favor and seed back, but it it does it they can get you like that. I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Uh, second thing. You have to be careful of what you download. Uh, downloading by what I mean is you you really want to download stuff that's that's not too recent. I mean, video games you can kind of get away because you know there's so many people that download them. But it, like the new music, I got caught for downloading. What was it? I forget what I I downloaded an album and I got caught for it. Uh, but usually the most recent stuff that's big like you huge uh, video games I, I don't know why I, I usually never got caught uh, downloading video games which was kind of interesting especially brand new that that kind of was like uh, but the, the point is if you download something that's you know very recent like let's say your Star Wars Battlefront is coming out and you just download it there's a small chance you get caught just because it's recent, but if you're downloading stuff from like 2007, that's like they don't care. They really don't. But here's what I, I'm just trying to say is that you're fine downloading like older stuff from personal experience, but brand new stuff, uh, that's that's fishy right there. Uh, and the third third tip that I can give you is I know this might sound embarrassing, and because I did it, is don't download porn. Okay, I admit it. I downloaded some porn. Yep, just let it sink in there. Yep. So if you do download it, uh, and I got caught for it, so that was not an interesting talk. Uh, so basically, you, uh, uh, the companies that you know are in the industry, they really have some really good tracking stuff, and they don't like that. They don't like people download because you know. They pay a lot of money for those people to perform, not the males, but the females. They pay them a lot, and it's you know the membership's pretty expensive. If you go like not the one dollar membership for a month for the first one, yes, that's not no, but I mean, it's it they have if you ever go like you try and like go to all these other sites, they, 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 it's pretty expensive. Their membership's pretty expensive, so they they really want to protect their stuff, you know. Because why would you pay if you can get it for free? But that's basically it, guys. These are the three tips I can give you. Uh, I hope I helped some of you. Uh, but there's there's only so much you can do because you, you're obviously taking a risk because you're doing something Ill illegally. But honestly, I, I would just say maybe just go out and get a job, <laughs> buy a game, or whatever you want to do. And I, I know I'm not fair. I know it doesn't sound good. 
but honesty is the best policy. That's what I've come to realization. Because when I was a, when I was little, I always be like, oh, but I can do this for free, and I don't need that. And I always try to trick the system. But as the more I've grow up, as you know, if everyone pirated, oh, sorry guys, if everyone pirated music, there would be no artists right now. There would be no new songs coming out because they wouldn't make any money because everything would be for free. You you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching as always, and I hope I cleared up some stuff, helped some of you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day, and uh, as I always say, I'll just repeat myself like four or five times. Have a nice day.